Today, we are back out here in the Hunter Classic to go after Water Buffalo with the crossbow. I've done this a few times, and as you guys know, I'm working on trying to get 40,000 Hunter scores, so this will be a decent way to grab some quickly. Unfortunately, I've got 1,000 kills with the crossbow, but any of the bows that are actually like somewhat efficient on the Water Buffalo, I've got 1,000 kills with. So we're going to go with the crossbow, and we'll see if we can drop anything decent. And we actually just had a Rooster Deer Buck Call sneak up here and actually try to call him in and drop him with the crossbow, but... If you guys don't know, I run a weekly competition in my Discord called King of the Kill Classic, and this week's animal is actually Water Buffalo. Basically, I choose one species every week here in the Hunter Classic, and the highest scoring animal of that species entered into the uh, Discord. It has to be shot within the week, but the highest scoring animal actually wins. Basically, a roll throughout all the Discords called King of the Kill, so you get uh, the recognition there, and you get access to the Patreon rooms in my Discord and Jackson Beer's Discord, so that allows you to join the text chats and the voice chats, and you get to hang out with all of us there, so I really recommend joining the Discord, the link to that is in the description below if you're not already there to participate in those competitions, if you play Call of the Wild as well, Jackson Beer does run a King of the Kill over there, that's just the highest scoring diamond, so be sure you're in the Discords, the link to that once again is in the description, and let's see about getting this Rusa Buck. Oh, that water buffalo is not happy with me. Apparently, we're not getting a Rusa deer. Hi. Alrighty, that was not what I expected when I came over the hill. Decent little water buffalo here. Maybe 200s-ish, but I imagine that sent our Rusa buck running. Brain shot and a 206 score. That was 5 meters away. That is one way to start a buffalo hunt. I mean, we're using the crossbow, so we got to get close, but that's not necessary. We do have a rooster deer. That's not him, though. That's a female. I think I'll probably ignore that and just head down the river for more water buffalo. All right, this is a little bit annoying. I've got four sandbar bucks. There's one there. There is one somewhere right there. There's one behind these guys, which I don't think we'll be able to see. And there's even one over there to the right that was walking away. I can't see him anymore either, but they are not coming into the scent that I put down. So we're just going to try to drop one, and I think this guy might be the best. Unfortunately, that's what was annoying about it. None of them are decent. They're all, like, roughly that size. So we'll see if we can get him with the 9.3. Maybe we'll go behind this tree so we don't hit anything. And Sambar Deer down, so we'll run and grab him. I didn't really want to use a gun very much this video, but in that scenario when they're not coming in, I wanted to at least get one of them because I, I don't know that I've ever actually seen four Sambar Bucks in one area. And I wish we would have had them all, like, on screen at one point, but they were pretty spread out. And that was kind of insane to see. But, I mean, to, to get a little more Hunter score, the 9.3 is a weapon that I'm getting 2 Hunter score per kill with. But then, on this map where it's so kind of run and gun focused, you can't really use the gun as much now with the new render distance. You're spooking the Buffalo and Bantang, whatever else, uh, that much further away. And it just doesn't work nearly as well as it does with the crossbow. So that's why we're focusing with the bow, even though that is going to cost us hunter score. But using a gun every now and then, I think, is probably a good thing. So if I could actually remember where I dropped that sandbar. Luckily, I kind of just stumbled upon it. We'll take a look at what he scores. 144 for him, and I'm just realizing how far forward the heart is almost in front of his leg there. That's something I never really paid attention to, but I guess maybe we'll run this side of the river now for a bit. So we've got a whole Bantang party going on over here. A bunch of females from the looks of it. Just kind of walking around in the water. I haven't seen a male. Actually going to get up and walk over here a little further. Maybe there is one hanging out. And I also... Oh, that could be... Oh, that's just a really pathetic male water buffalo. I also would like to crossbow them. Unless there is a male. I really don't want to use the extra sound. Especially for a female, like if it's a if it's a solid male or whatever, I'll definitely use a gun to avoid having to track it. But as far as I can tell, oh wait, I think that was a male in the water there. I was about to say, as far as I can tell, there's nothing but females. But I do believe I just saw what actually might have been a really solid Bantang set of horns. I'm gonna get over here where I can actually see. Looked like he was coming through the water. Yeah, that's not bad there. What do we got for a score on him? 130 to 180 in max weight. Got another female, looks like, crossing the water. I, I've i never seen so many Bantang in one place. I don't know if they've just kind of all met up here. I don't know Bantang, like, travel in herds, and I've just never seen it. Like, I know small herds, but this amount, I did not ever expect to see. So where did that one I actually wanted to shoot go? Oh, wait. 
Is he under? No, that's not him. Where did he go? He must be behind something. We'll just kind of take our time getting over here. I don't need to send them running. That's actually him right there. We'll spot him to be sure, but... Yeah, 130 to 180, and of course, he's getting behind the stuff before I could spot him. But we'll get the shot off here in a second, it looks like. That guy looks really, really solid, to be honest. Let's go for this. That was a very nice of him to stop right there, and maybe can get that goofy little male water buffalo as well. If he stops spinning in circles. What the heck? Uh, um, I broke it. Dang it. <laughs> I guess I'm not getting my hunter's score for that. Luckily, wait a minute. Are you still alive? Oh. <laughs> I got it. So, uh, guess we're getting our hunter's score now. That was weird. But, yeah. I, that completely threw me off. What I think is a solid Bantang down. He didn't have the really tall horns, but it looked like he had kind of the wider variation. So we'll see what we get for him. 148, not too bad. Actually got a double lung and heart shot at 103 meters. So I'm pretty happy with that. And our water buffalo, which apparently there's not many around today, uh, was supposed to be the main quarry, but this is only our second one. And that's just, that's just sad. 140 score for a male. Actually did clip the right lung in the first shot, then got him in the heart and the right lung again the second time. I so did not realize that he had just, his animation froze. I thought he died and got stuck, but luckily he did do that and I don't have to track him. So hopefully we're going to get a sort of two for one here. We got this female buffalo right here, and then I just had a male call right about render. So he should be a good 150 meters. I don't think he should really even become alerted from us shooting, and let's just actually take this broadside angle before she decides to charge. I believe he should stay, because what you can kind of do is shoot, and they won't spook, but they'll kind of become alert, and they notice you when you start running at them. I don't even think that's going to be an issue here. 131 on this one, almost as big as that last male, but this one that called, he did have the max weight track estimate. My tracking is maybe like level 16, so not a guarantee that he's big, but it's a good bet. Ah, uh, there he is. Not what I was hoping for. I was kind of hoping to see way bigger horns. Hey, hold on. I'm not, I'm not ready. Wait. I just heard another one. Are you a female? Doesn't have very big horns. We did get a lung. Or did we? Yeah, it's lung blood. Unfortunately, I didn't make my best shot, so I'll have to track him a bit. They usually run like three-ish minutes on a single lung, and that probably penetrated back into the intestines as well, so I can't imagine him going really more than a minute or two. And it did end up just under three minutes, but we actually, uh, I shot through the head. I guess that explains it. I hit him in the skull and shoulder blade. Still got into the right lung, luckily, but didn't penetrate back to intestines. I didn't think of that. The fact that we went through the head and all that neck uh, muscle as well. So that does kind of explain why he ran so far. Oh, geez, I got another male charging me here. I don't know if I'm going to get this shot off. Never mind. Um, yeah, don't know where he was hidden. I had to have run right by him tracking the one we just shot, but... I guess he didn't care too much then. And did that not actually go right through his ear? I guess we're not going to be able to tell unless we get a trophy shot. Ended up being a heart shot, double lung and heart, 159 on him. And I do believe that I saw that, yeah, in through his ear. And I guess it was down low, low enough to get the heart. That was kind of cool. All right, we got two here, so I'm going to try... It's probably not going to work, but I'm going to try to get them both to charge me. And actually, before we go any closer, let's take that off. That's a little too much zoom if we're going to get this to actually work as I hope. Can I, like, resume? There we go. All right, so I need this guy to start charging me. Oh, they're actually just both going to at the same time. So i going to shoot the one in the back first. Hi. That ended up intestines. We did drop the first one, and I think... We can get the second one as well, so that'll be a decent little boost to the Hunter score. I didn't really want to do this as a Road to 40k video, but it's kind of... That's kind of where all of my focus is at the moment, just trying to get to that mark. And apparently this guy's got a forever calculating score, but I just noticed the last shot there, left lung, shoulder blade, and brain 23 meters away on a run with open sights. I'm pretty happy with that shot. 
And the other one was actually a Skull and Brain Shot as well from 30 meters with open sights, 180 score on him, which should be roughly the same score as the other one. Maybe I should do something with open sights sometimes. I didn't, I, I almost never do it here in the Hunter Classic, but maybe there's more effectiveness to it than I really consider, because I just always use scopes when I'm out, so maybe I'll have to try it. So, turns out this side of the river's dead. There's literally nothing over here compared to where we just were. And I was kind of hoping to shoot that broadside. We'll let her charge. And I do need to try not... Uh, well, never mind. I was going to say try to not shoot through the head, but if we go for a brain, that is all fine. And another one down. I think that's somewhere around 10 total kills. I lost track because I was shooting at magpie geese that I kept spooking with a crossbow, and that kind of made me not be able to tell where I was at. But a 129 on this female, and we will continue our run. Now we're getting out of some stuff. We got another female, I think. Yeah. Another female water buffalo here, and I guess I'll let her charge so I can get the brain shot. That was a nice animation. Hi. <laughs> the Her throwing her head up before she charged looked really good. I saw a male take off in this direction. He must have heard me shoot the last one. I couldn't tell if it was big. It looks solid. 3.3 meters away on that one. 110 score. She didn't look anything smaller than the rest of them. I guess she did have just pretty straight and flat horns. So I'm going to try to get on the trail that male that took off up through here. And he's not even that big, but he is angry, and hopefully not going to kill me. Another close range brain shot. I need to stop doing that. I don't even know if I have med kits in my Pickabine Bay loadout, so I should actually check that. 6.8 meters away. Another brain shot. Got into the neck bone. One there as well. 182 score on him. And do I have med kits with me? I do actually. I have four, so maybe I can keep doing that, but maybe that's not my best idea either. Oh, hey there. Uh, you're not what I was after. Let's just uh, see if we can drop you. I have what uh, is not a max weight sandbar track. I believe they go to 550, but I've got one up to 530. I think we're going to follow that and probably wrap it up. What do we got, Colin, there? A female water buffalo that I don't care about. But 198 on this guy. Not too bad. Got him left lung, liver, and stomach, and that actually dropped him. But yeah, we're going to see if we can find that sandbar and then probably call it a video. And unfortunately, that is our sandbar struggling to climb a mountain. So I think we'll help him out with that quickly. That wasn't my best shot, but he won't be struggling anymore. And unfortunately, no big water buffalo during this video. But I just left them all for you guys to work on that King of the Kill Classic competition. Like I said, be sure to join the Discord if you want to get in on that. Uh, I mentioned all of the things you can get for winning that, and it's every week a different species. Uh, so if water buffalo are not your thing, you can come back for next week where I'm sure it'll be something else. I was trying to run them with the free species for, holy jeez, he's all the way down there. Uh, so that guests could actually kind of participate as well. But lately, I haven't been able to find the free species on their Twitter, so I've just been kind of picking the fun species. Last week was moose. That's, this week, we have water buffalo, and next week, if they don't uh, announce anything, I'll probably pick another one of those kind of big species that are somewhat fun to hunt. But let's see what we got for this guy. 145, and by the way, I know he's not going to be in that pose that we can see it anymore, but... Or, oh, yeah, he is. He didn't roll. Look, <laughs> look at the way he died. Hey. I think I'm just, <laughs> just going to take that trophy shot, actually, and... Uh, I think that'll do it. So thank you guys for sticking around to the end of this video. It is very much appreciated, and I will see you next time.